up, you guys? It's your big boy, Coach Will, from Kingdom Body Bootcamp, King Columbia, and soon to come 20X Nutrition. Just wanted to come out here and thank everybody for a new year. Thank everybody who has been in my uh, circle. Thank everybody who has uh, been there for me, like Coach CJ. I want to come here and say that this year, 2022, it's going to be an amazing year. It's going to be a year that we are not going to forget. It's going to be a year of accomplishments. It's going to be a year where everybody accomplishes their goals. No matter how small or how big or how weird or how amazing their goals are, we are here to accomplish them. We're here to make sure that we accomplish our goals. Make sure that we step it up this year. We are thankful for the year that we passed 2021 it showed us the reality of things it showed us that we are capable of a lot of things that we are capable of not standing uh, still and going forward now this year we are coming here with bigger more amazing goals than the past we're here to accomplish our goals to make sure that each day we wake up with a good attitude that we wake up with, with an attitude that says, you know what, I want to keep going. I want to wake up this morning. I want to keep uh, nourishing what I left on 2021. I want to make my goals bigger. I want to make my goals higher. And I want to accomplish them. No matter how slow I go this year, but I'm definitely going to accomplish them one by one. Making sure that by the end of the year, we do finish accomplishing them all the goals. We gotta realize that we're thankful for being here, that we gotta be thankful for still being alive, for all the people who surround us, for all the people who are still here with us, making sure that we still keep going, and that we're gonna be that energizer battery that is gonna keep going. We're never gonna stop in our goals, we're never gonna stop on achieving our success. We're gonna make more income, we're gonna make more uh, drive, and we're gonna show people that we're capable of doing things no matter how many times we fall, you no know, matter how many times we are down on the floor, how poor, how difficult life is, we're still gonna continue. All the grudges that we had with people, we're gonna amend them. We're gonna say, you know what, let's forget about the grudges we had with people and say, I'm sorry, I apologize. I know I did wrong, whether you did or not, just apologize and be grateful that you're still here because some of our friends, family members are not here anymore. And we gotta be thankful that we are. That we could continue their legacy, that we could continue their amendment on going forward with what we need to accomplish. Let me tell you one of my goals for this year of 2022 and what I want to accomplish this year. Because I know that a lot of people there out there are like, well, I was left alone this year. I didn't have a girl, I didn't have a man, uh, New Year's Eve I spent it alone. No, you spend it with yourself. So one of the goals that I want to accomplish this year is being able to become financially independent. At least 60% of this year to pay 60% of my bills. Get my business to grow. I started my year with my webpage being opened, and I'm so happy I've been waiting for that for a long time. Started doing my YouTube videos, which I was planning to do it, and I started already doing my YouTube workout videos, and I'm so proud about that. I'm so proud that still my family is behind me with all my goals and accomplishments, that we're going forward and what we want. Heart, soul, and mind with the kingdom and power to our to live in the legacy before we leave this world. It ain't hard to step around and say, you know what? And for a couple of seconds say, what did I accomplish? And what did I'm going to accomplish? Because it is hard to say, you know what? I didn't accomplish anything. Oh, well, I failed last year. No, you didn't. You're still here. You're still standing. Time is never too late to accomplish goals. 
do it. Set yourself high and do whatever it takes to get to where you want. Make sure that whatever you said to do, you stand up high and say, I'm gonna do it and go for it. Don't let people tell you that you can't run a mile and that you can't climb that high mountain. If you wanna climb that mountain, go ahead and climb it. But make sure you do it a mile extra. Go 20 times more than what the actual person does. Don't sit down waiting for people to come around and tell you what to do. A lot of people will tell you you're not worth it. A lot of people will tell you why are you doing that? Forget about it. You're wasting your time. But those people who are telling you that you're wasting your time on what you want to do and what you want to set your mind to are the people that are not doing anything. Yet the people waiting for somebody to grab their hand and take them and to do something. No. You gotta be a go-getter. You gotta be the person that people wants to follow. The people wants to become. And you wanna know the, one of the biggest things that you gotta put in your in your mind is oh, yes I can do it. Yes I can do it. Yes I can do it. And never let yourself your your guard down. Because that's what people want to see. People want to see you guard down so they can step on you. When you think I'm big, when you think big, and you don't give a damn what other people are thinking, that's when you know that you're gonna go and make your goals a reality. Because those people who talk bad about you are the people who want who are want to follow you and want to do whatever you're doing. They're those people who are too lazy to do what they say they want to do. They just talk but no action. And the reality of the thing is that we gotta take action and we gotta do less talking. The less talking we do and the more action we do, the more we're gonna set our goals. And you know what? One of the things that one of my coach said is that you're never too late to become the person you wanna be. So follow the person you wish to be and how they do it and how they accomplish things and follow them, mimic them, shadow them, and become that person. But with your own attitude and your own beliefs. Because this world is so corrupted that sometimes we don't know where we are. People are getting killed day by day. People are doing stupid things like driving and drinking. People are not taking the reality of this world to a true meaning. And we gotta set an example for all the people coming behind us. We gotta set a legacy for people to follow. Because if we don't do anything in this world, that means that why, why are we still here? Why are we still wasting precious air? Why are we wasting precious breath? We're here to accomplish things and to make things a reality. Life is about learning things day by day and learning that there's a wall. You're going to push it so hard that you can go on top of it and climb that wall and go forward with your dreams. Life ain't easy. It's hard. It's not something that you're going to wake up one morning and say, my goals are set. No, they're hard. But the harder they get, the better it is. Because that more, the more the harder it is, the more you're able to push them yourself. It's like when you go to the gym for the first time and you say to yourself, wow, I don't know what to do. I don't know what am I doing here. I feel embarrassed because there's more fit people there. No, don't be embarrassed. Push yourself. Because at the long run, you're gonna see the results. You're gonna see the results of what you are capable of doing. You don't matter if you are able to push your body or you're able to pull five pounds, 10 pounds, but the thing reality is that you're able to do them. That you're able to walk that extra mile. That you are able to uh, climb that mountain and go beyond on what you're thinking is. The clarity of your mind the clarity of your soul is what's going to help you to push yourself. Whenever you feel down, 
put yourself into a song that you like and relax and think to yourself if I don't push myself who's gonna push me jab yourself whenever you do something right say I'm proud of myself I'm proud of what I've done and what I'm capable of doing I did it once why not keep doing it and replicating what you're doing you work the duplication you duplicate what you're doing to get the results you want. So if you really want to become rich to help others, you work to your goals to get to where you want. You grab one, two, or three jobs to make yourself rich, to be able to help others. Helping others doesn't mean you always got to give them money. It means you got to give them a hand when they need it. You got them. You got to give them a sub of mind. Talk to them. Give them knowledge. Because when you help others, you're helping yourself as well. And it makes you more proud. Life is about giving, not getting all the time. It's not only about me, 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 me. Because there's no I in team. There's we in team. We believe that we could do it. We believe that the people coming behind me are going to be the greatest team around. That we're going to accomplish together what we haven't accomplished before. We're going to show the world that we are capable of eating all this and that we're capable of jumping more than they think we can. I'm the Michael Jordan of the future to my reality of my goals. I'm that king that is going to rule what I'm able to do to accomplish what I'm capable of doing. I'm not sitting down waiting for somebody to come by and tell me what I got to do. Because if I do that, ain't nobody going to come and give me a hand. Life is about getting up and making those jumps. Even if you're sick or even if you don't have no money. Someone told me one day, excuse me, do you know where my money is? And I read a book, The 10X Rule of Grant Cardone. And he said, do you know where your money is? And people asked, where? And his response was, go out there because everybody who's out there has your money. Your money is not here sitting down or watching TV. If you haven't accomplished your goals, what are you doing watching a, a, a game? What are you doing watching, standing here and relaxing? Oh, because it's my day off. No, your day off is to go and help make yourself the person you want to be and keep yourself busy. Working 20 times more than the average person. Advertising yourself every single day to the eyes of others. A lot of people are just pure lazy because they think that they don't need to be where they're supposed to be. They're comfortable with it where they are. They're comfortable with the job they are. They're comfortable coming home and watching TV and doing the same routine every single day. Those are the people who are not going to make it. But if you're a crazy person and you're not comfortable with what you're doing and you go out there and you do what you're supposed to be doing to make that happen, then you're a person of success. You're a person that is going to be going forward day by day. A person who's going to be someone in the near future. Life is about getting things done, not about waiting for things to be done for you. Don't let somebody fish for you. Learn how to fish so you won't never be hungry in your life. Sometimes people say, sometimes our parents will tell us, well, when you were little, they will tell you, you know what? You gotta get a great education so you could get a job, a nine to five, so you could work 20 years, so you could retire. But they never told you that, yeah, you're gonna go to school, yeah, go get an education, that's perfect. Then you gotta go to college and get yourself into debt. Then they don't tell you, they don't tell you that you gotta come out of school 
with a loan that you did for the next 30 years so you could pay it off and you still die and you never paid it off and then you're gonna work 20 years for a job that is only gonna give you $500 in your pension. Is that what you want? You wanna work a nine to five for 20 years to let tell, so somebody else can tell you you only work 10 or 11 bucks so that you can retire in the next 20 years and get only $500 a month? Is that your actual thinking? You gotta tell yourself, you know, you gotta go and tell yourself, mom, dad, I'm grateful for the life that you gave me. I'm grateful for the things that you have given me. But I apologize, but I cannot do what you're telling me to do. I cannot go waste my time in, in, in school for a career that I could get out outside of school and I know and I don't need to gain to death and I could work a job on a career that I like make as much money as I want so I could retire and leave a legacy to my children or to my family and still have money to help others reach their goals I understand the way that you were brought up but we're in the in, 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 in a new millennium we're getting a job a nine to five and getting a 20 year retirement so I could come out with a five hundred dollar check is not cutting at all but if I come an entrepreneur and I learn to work two or three jobs and make that income that I need to make to retire with the money that I need to retire with so I don't have to struggle in the near future and I can make something out of myself and leave a legacy for whoever comes behind me then we're talking another new language which means that I'm going to become successful and that I'm going to open my mind to new things in life and that I'm going to work at a job that is going to give me the money that I need that I don't have to go and kiss somebody's feet for a job that I don't like just to make 10 bucks an hour to make my family happy. I gotta make myself happy. I don't need to make you happy. I'm sorry if I'm disrespectful on that way, but I don't need to make you happy. I need to make myself happy because it's time for, for me to live and to be able to help you. You helped me when I struggled. You helped me when I was down. You helped me when I needed it. Now, it is time for me to to go out there and make ends meet and help you and make that money that I need to make to help you and others. But please don't get mad at me because I don't do what you're telling me I'm going to school and getting into that for 30 year uh, requirement for me to pay my loan. Then I die and I, and I retire with a job and I retire with $500. No, I don't need to go the old traditional way. Let me do it my way and show you that I'm capable of growing as an individual. That I'm capable of learning and self-respect. Because there's no way in school they're gonna teach me how to manage, manage your money or manage your job where I can make as much money as I want to. I'll be in school learning from a textbook where a teacher tells me what a textbook is saying. Sometimes we go to a school for example, business management, and we ask the teacher, have you had a business? Have you owned a, a business, a multi-million business? And they're gonna tell you, no, I'm just a regular teacher. So why am I gonna spend my four or five years in the school learning something that I could learn it outside? Let me be the person that I wanna be to make you as proud as I need to for you to be. I will show you that you can be proud of me and that I could go forward with what I need. And that's what we gotta tell ourselves and our kids. We can't lie to them. If they wanna go to college, let them go to college. But tell them the true reality. That if you're gonna go to college, it's for you to meet people that are gonna help you become successful in life. That you're gonna meet people, not to get into them, is to get into a new reality of how to become more successful every single day. And we need this 2022 to become the reality of all the teenagers and people out there 
who are struggling right now to become somebody. If you have a job in mind, if you know a career in mind, and you are capable of doing something, go ahead and put it into perspective. Put it into a career. If you're a person, for example, if you know how to do empanadas, you know how to do uh, meal prepping, uh, you got it. You know how to knead, whatever your talent is, make it into a business and make it a, a successful one. So you can teach others how to become successful. Don't waste your time. Because life is too short to be waiting for somebody to be out there and give you a hand. Push yourself at 100% and push others as, as the same way you're going to push yourself. So for this 2022, I want to leave you with something. I want to leave you with an understanding that you got to push yourself 20 times more than the average person. Become that person that people want to follow. Become that person that everybody's proud of you. Show your parents that there's a new way of going to school without getting into debt. Show your parents that there's a new way to be able to help them without getting into financial debt. Become your financial freedom this year. Become the person you want to be. Because you know what? If you don't do it yourself, ain't nobody going to help you. So guys, ladies, kids, gentlemen, let's do what we got to do to go out there and make things happen. This is your coach, William, from Kingdom Body Bootcamp, King Columbia, and also from 20 Active Church and Coming Soon. Hope you have an understanding that this 2022 is going to be way better than years before. That we're going to go forward and not look back. So share this video, comment on this video, and like this video so everybody can see it and so everybody can know that we are people of success and that we're going to make it in this year and that we are going forward and we're not going to be looking back because you know what we all deserve to become successful in life not stay the way we are all our lives we need to be, be someone and leave a legacy in this world so guys thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope you enjoy life and enjoy yourself all right